So we're back and the action is set to get underway here once again. Ibrahimi from Tajikistan takes Ivanov from Bulgaria on. So here we go, Ibrahimi Said Moumin in the blue corner taking on Ivanov. Svet Oslav. Oh, and Ibrahimi. I found that in the break there. His, uh, I believe his father was the world champion, res uh, wrestling world champion. And that was during Soviet times. So when Tajikistan was part of the USSR, and that was some of the scariest dudes in the world wrestling at that point. And that tells you a lot about his background, his base. Now, Ivanov, we saw a very flamboyant. Oh, a nice entry though, look at that, little faint. We saw a flamboyant and uh, extrovert performance from him in his first fight today. Or oh, first fight, I should say, here in cage number three. And already, this is a very tentative start from both of them. One minute, five seconds down. Svetlana Ivanov, sorry, looking for that. Take down again, wise to it and ready for it was Ibrokimi. Oh, again, that inside leg kick is lovely. Really turns his hips nicely into those kicks. Oh, yeah, Ivanov now stepping in with a left hook to the body. And again. Little flurry of punches in response from Ibrahimi. Head, head clash there. That was a nasty head clash. Unintentional. And we'll see now as they came together. See it again. And there you go, they just connected heads then. Just can totally accidental. Ivanov putting the pace and pressure on Ibrahimi. Nice circle out there from the uh, Tajiki fighter. You want to get caught? Oh, spinning. <laughs> spinning attack. Probably good it didn't connect because it was certainly a head range. Here we see some of the action, yeah. Between the two, real closely fought contest, this one. Kept going for that, fainting for that takedown. There's instruction from the corner from Bulgaria. Same for the flip side, the Tajeki corner, the Tajikistan. A real force in this tournament now. And Ivanov showing some real good moves, excellent techniques, bringing a lot of pressure in that first round as well. Ibrahimi, that inside, the outside leg kick was very nice from him. Again, he's working it, that's the one. Lots more feints, lots more movement now. But still easily read was the shot, was the entry from Ivanov. But he's going to use this to try and build a take down that. But excellent work, lateral movement. Technical exit there from Ibrahimi. Oh, that's a nice takedown. Single leg from Ivanov. Elevation and straight back to his feet. Ibrahimi, but now trying to get rid of this headlock position. And does so. One minute left, round number two. Oh, the feints are good from Ivanov. Oh, 
Now Ibrahimi up with the pressure against the cage. We saw some lovely trips with him up against the Welsh fighter, Liam Davis. Oh, takes him down. Trying to build that base back up. Let's see now. He looks to go the other way, Ibrahimi. Oh, final 10 seconds, hard outside leg kick again. Turning kick just misses. Front teeth from Ivanov. Fun fight indeed here at cage number three. Here's some of the action. That's the single leg turn there, but look at the reactions. Elevation with a butterfly grip, some urgency to get back to his feet from Ibrahimi. Really switched on with the Tajeki fighter. But this is lovely. Pulls it between his legs, turns the corner, runs that pipe. Just couldn't quite close the finish on the takedown up by getting on top of his opponent. But that is down to the skills, the awareness, the urgency coming from Ibrahimi. So we're at about 32 of a scheduled 45 here in cage number three. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's a lot of fighting. But a high level amount as well. And we'll run straight through to the finals. We will get the finals of the men's featherweights, men's strawweights, women's strawweights, women's atomweights, men's bantamweights and men's flyweights all in this cage for you to enjoy that'll take us up to about five o'clock this afternoon i believe oh. ibrahimi there looking for a takedown himself a real close battle this ivanov looking for that front headlock and now switching to that single leg, the double leg, that superb chain wrestling from the Bulgarian. Absolutely fantastic stuff there from Bulgaria's Ivanov. When you talk about chain wrestling, it is linking it together. So from the front headlock, drumming to the single leg, extending then for the double leg, and not just getting the double leg, but turning the corner and finishing the takedown staying locked to his opponent. And again, look again, went for the single leg. Drew, drove through. Really, really good stuff. Oh, he's trying to get a grip on that neck. Drop and roll is Ibrahimi. First signs of fatigue we've seen from the Chajeki fighter. This is really the first time he's been on the back for another big takedown there from I uh, Ivanov. By far for me, the most definitive round. Ibrahimi rolling for a knee bar. Ibrahimi rolling for a knee bar. Oh my goodness. Ivanov crosses the legs, takes that danger away, uses the figure of four to protect that knee. Oh, big shots. What a finish there for Bulgaria's Ivanov. Is that enough? That is the clearest of the rounds for me. It will come down to how the referee, the judge, cage side scored it in rounds one and two. Which way should it go? Ivanov, he takes it. Wow. That's a huge win. An even bigger celebration and a statement from Bulgaria's Ivanov. Here are some of the takedowns in round three. Super technical, but also the pace and pressure that he kept. Look at that. Turn the corner. Oh, watch that time and time again. And it really did excel in that third round. 
here. Watch the change of the single leg. Switches to the double and now turns, drives. And that momentum takes it to the map. And then here's the elevation takedown as well. Switches hip to hip. Then takes his man down to the map. Staying fully connected to him as well. Brilliant, wonderful stuff from Ivanov and a smile on the Bulgarian's face.